Kyle, JJ was saying yesterday that he knows you pretty well. Just what's your relationship like with him? Yeah, I've known JJ uh, since I think my sophomore year of high school, uh, really when we started to go to like kind of those, those national camps. Um, and uh, obviously we got recruited by a lot of the same schools. And so just getting to know him, uh, that's one of the kids in my class who I got uh, pretty close with. Do you guys speak pretty often? Uh, every now and then. I mean, obviously uh, we're both, you know, busy within the season, um, you know, but uh, I think uh, once we committed to uh, our schools, you know, we knew what it was going to be. We knew, you know, the, the rivalry that, um, you know, both those schools had. Um, so, you know, I, I try to speak to them as much as I can. Did you guys approach it that way when you guys were still in high school? Even though you were yeah, I mean, I don't even know. Uh, I think obviously we knew um, how much the rivalry meant in high school, but then I think once you get to college, I think that's when you really realize, you know, how important it is. Uh, all that in mind, how do you make sure to, to stay uh, with what you've been doing all year and not make this, this more than, than what it is? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, on, on Saturday at noon, you know, we're going to put the ball down. It's going to be football, and obviously there's – uh, a lot of attention around the game, and rightfully so. Um, but I think you just have to realize it's just football. And I think, you know, we've done a great job getting to this point, being 11-0. and 0. Um, So I think just continuing to prepare the way we have, continuing with practice the way we have, and uh, treating it as a football game. The way you felt the week uh, going into the Notre Dame game and the way you feel this week, can you, say, can you feel a difference? I mean, the Notre Dame game was that first one where really everybody was watching you. How's Cal McCord going to function in a game like this. You understand what I'm saying? How much has it helped you for this one? Yeah, no, I think that was uh, a great test for us early on, uh, going into a hostile environment, um, playing a really good team, really good defense, um, like on the road, like I said. Um, so I think that's definitely helped us. Uh, I think we, we know uh, that we've been through, um, you know, a tough environment and, you know, we won that game. I think guys stepped up, made some big time plays. And I think that was kind of a turning point early on in the year where we realized you know, okay, we're a legit team. You know, we're exactly uh, who we thought we were going to be. Um, so I think the biggest thing now uh, is using that experience to help us uh, get ready for Saturday because obviously it's going to be a similar type of environment, um, big game. Uh, but I think uh, early on we did a good job, you know, blocking out the noise. So just continuing to do that this week. Uh, people have said, close to you have said, and you've said, you don't get nervous before games. Do you think that will be the case on Saturday? And if so, how much of an advantage will it be for you? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the only time, you know, you're nervous is when you're not sure if you put the preparation in or not. And so during the week, um, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think that's when you really win the game during the week. Um, I think uh, watching film, getting your body right, getting your mind right, um, you know, going out and having good practices, I think that's where you gain confidence. Um, and so when you step out there on Saturday, it's not anything that you haven't done yet. And I think that's, that's re really where I draw from. And you know that reputations are made in this game. I mean, this is where Dwayne Haskins made his first statement. This is where Troy Smith went on the list. How excited are you to have a chance to put your stamps on this rivalry? Yeah, um, like you said, obviously, uh, the implications on this game are huge. Um, but like I said earlier, at the end of the day, it's just a football game. Uh, and so just doing everything I can to help my team win. And, you know, like I said, I think there's a lot of noise around it. There's a lot of hype, hype around it, and rightfully so. Um, but I think the biggest thing is just um, focusing in on what's important, you know, and that's, you know, watching the film, doing uh, the, the small things during the week, focusing on the details uh, to give yourself the best chance to go out there and succeed. What's your, what's your, first, memory, what's your first memory of this rivalry game watching as a kid? Um, probably the uh, double overtime game um, when Curtis Samuel scored. I think that was double overtime, maybe or triple, I'm not sure. Uh, but I remember watching that. Uh, I think I was in seventh or eighth grade at the time. And... Uh, just the, the magnitude around that game was huge. Um, and, you know, I remember just a back and forth game and then to kind of have it uh, end the way it did with Curtis Samuel scoring like that. I was like, wow, you know, that's, that's a crazy, crazy rivalry. Um, so that, that was kind of my first impression on the game. How, how do you make sure? What's been the most important development for the offensive line over the course of this season? Yeah, I mean, I think offensive line is one of, uh, the few positions in football where it takes all five guys to be on the same page. And I think they've done a good job. I think early on, you know, especially in fall camp, we're switching guys in and out. Guys were competing for jobs. And then once everything kind of settled into place, I think they did a good job of kind of meshing together. And, um, you know, I think early on, uh, especially early on the season, 
I don't think everybody was always on the same page. Um, and I think that's, that's to be expected, but especially uh, kind of this last stretch, I think they've done a good job of uh, communicating well, playing together, uh, preparing during the week. And I think as a result, their play has risen. You were talking after the game on Saturday, one of the ways you've improved or, or one of the parts of your development was trusting people around you as much as trusting yourself. I assume that applies to the offensive line a little bit. The, how, just what's your level of confidence now? How does it feel different on a field now than maybe did in the first three weeks of the season? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing is just the more reps you can get um, with the guys and you kind of know what to expect. And whether that's, you know, uh, making identification calls or, you know, making protection calls, whatever it is, uh, just all being on the same page um, and having trust in them. And I think they've done a great job. Um, I think especially, uh, I think Carson's done a great job with it, being one of the younger guys and uh, the center doing a really good job with that. And I think the guys around him uh, who have more experience, like Donnie and Matt, uh, kind of lifting him up. And uh, and I wouldn't say being like a, you know, a bigger brother to him, but I think in some ways, you know, Matt Jones especially has done that. And uh, when a guy has that much experience and has been playing for that long, to have uh, a guy like that playing next to you, I think has helped Carson a lot. Michigan's defense is obviously really good. What, what are the maybe one or two things that, that are most impressive about their defense and, and the challenges that you're going to have? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, super talented across the board. Uh, obviously, coached uh, really well, and I think they play really hard too. Um, you know, I think that when you turn the film, I think that that jumps off. Um, you know how hard they play, the effort, and there's a reason why they're they're playing the way they are right now. And um, you know, I think that starts. Uh, a lot just with, with their effort. And so, you know, we know it's going to be uh, a fist fight on Saturday, um, but uh, I think we'll, we'll be ready for it. Where does your the... confidence going into a game like this, knowing your primary weapons? We talked about this a couple of weeks ago, but you, like you said, you saw that burst from Emeka on Saturday. But knowing all of your weapons that y'all had going into the year are going to be available to you, what, what does this just do from, a, from an offensive confidence standpoint? Yeah, uh, like you said, I think that's a huge – boost of confidence. Um, you put all those reps in in the off season, uh, in the summer and fall camp. And, you know, when you lose a few of those pieces, uh, you can kind of tell a little bit. And I think the guys have stepped up and done a great job. Um, but to, to have all those guys back um, healthy and ready to go. And I think I said this on Saturday, that was the best. I think Mecca's has looked since he's been back. Um, you can just tell he has a different kind of swagger to him uh, now. Just the way he's playing, he looks fast, he looks explosive. Um, and, and obviously Trey, uh, who missed some time uh, during the season, him being back and looking the way he does. I mean, it's just, like you said, it's a huge boost of confidence. How long have you dreamed of this moment of playing in this game as a starting quarterback? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, you know, when you're a little kid, you, you dream of moments like this. And, you know, two undefeated teams and the biggest rivalry in sports, you can't draw it up any better than that. Uh, but I think at the same time, uh, like I said earlier, it's all about the preparation during the week. Um, it's all about putting the work in and giving yourself an opportunity to go out and succeed. Kyle, when you go back and, and through the course of the season watch film of yourself, how have you felt about your decision making, you know, the things that, the reads you make, that kind of thing? How often are you saying like, yeah, man, I, I, I'm reading it right? And, and how often do you say, ah, oh, maybe I wish I had that one back? Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely, um, you know, a few plays here and there where, you know, I would have liked to have back. Um, and I think, uh, I've done a good job of seeing the field. I think I credit a lot of that to the coaching and to my preparation um, during the week. Uh, but I feel like now, um, you know, there are plays where I'm getting to, you know, my third, fourth, fifth read and I uh, feel like I'm being smart with the ball. Um, that's the biggest thing, I think, especially here, if you can just get the ball in the playmaker's hands, uh, it doesn't always have to be perfect and you just get the, them in open space, good things are going to happen. Um, so I think early on, I didn't exactly, I, went, I, I knew it, but, you know, I think once you see it succeed and you see it, you know, happen in the game and you see it work, I think that's, that's really when you understand, okay, what, what's my role in this offense? Yes, so what did you, you learn you going up there ability? in 2021 and playing in that game? I mean, you didn't play, but, but taking part in that game. Yeah, I mean, that was a crazy environment. Um, obviously, that was uh, one of the first times they beat us in a, in a long time, but, uh, you know, it was electric um, and obviously, uh, Big Ten football uh, at this point in the year, you never know what the weather is going to be like. It was snowing sideways that day, um, so uh, it's going to be a challenge for sure. How do you rate your running ability? CJ used to always say he wasn't brought here to be a runner, but he could do it. He mm -hmm. showed in the Georgia game. 
Where do you stand on that if you have to do it? Or is there a confidence there? Yeah, I mean, I think um, similar to CJ, it's just whatever the game presents. And sometimes, you know, there, there aren't times to run. And I think, you know, you just need to do your job and distribute the ball. And then I think there are other times, you know, and I think there's been points in the year, like the Wisconsin game, there's a third down where um, they kind of dropped down, played coverage, and, you know, they gave me an opportunity to scramble for a first down. Uh, so I think it's just what the game presents, uh, kind of the flow of the game, what they're trying to do, what we have called. And, um, you know, I think kind of similar to CJ, if, you know, if the opportunity presents itself, I'll be ready. And this rivalry has been heated for a long, long time, but the players have always respected each other. Is that is that hard to say that you respect Michigan guys, or does it come naturally, or do you? No, yeah, I respect them. I mean, it's hard to, to stand up here and say I don't respect a team who's 11-0, and who's done – um, some really good things in the past few years, and uh, they're, they're a really good team. Uh, so I think there's definitely a respect level there. I think um, we know that they're a good team, and I would say vice versa. So I think there's definitely a respect level there. Hey, Kyle, regarding the, the recruitment, you and JJ, how do you keep from trying to prove your head coach right in this game? Or are you trying to prove him right? I mean, I, I think every day you have an opportunity to pe prove people right and prove people wrong. Um, you know, I think... You know, that's not in the front of my mind. Um, you know, the biggest thing for me is just winning this game uh, by any means necessary. Do you ever think about the fact that, you know, Ohio State recruited both you and JJ and Ohio State chose you? Yeah, I mean, not not anymore, to be honest. Um, you know, obviously that was uh, a little bit of a story when we were both getting recruited. But, you know, I think uh, once we both stepped on campus, I think those recruiting stories kind of fade out. And I think the product uh, you put in the field matters most. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously uh, a big game, a big moment for all of us. Uh, but like I said earlier, at the end of the day, it's just football. And, you know, there's a lot of attention, a lot of um, outside noise uh, on this game. But at the end of the day, it's going to be 11 on 11. And I think uh, the guys have done a good job understanding that and uh, preparing as such. Kyle, this game is always huge. It will always be huge. But this is the last worth for everything. I mean, next year you've got a playoff, you're not going to have divisions. If it were next year, this year, you'd be playing them next week too. Yeah. How much does that add to mm -hmm. the excitement of this game, knowing that this is the last of its kind? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't even know if I've, I've thought of it like that, um, but, you know, that is kind of crazy you say that. Um, just, uh, I think just the tradition that this game has had uh, throughout the years, um, the amount of great players that have played in this game throughout the years, the you know back and forth games throughout the years. I think uh, there's a reason why this is the best rivalry in sports, and uh, just to be able to uh, play in it, and um, you know it, it's special, it's an honor, and so I, obviously you know with everything on the line, uh, there, there's a lot riding on it. But um, like I said, you know just every day preparing uh, your your mind, your body, and your soul to go out there on Saturday. Can you imagine knowing you were going to play them next week too. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that's crazy. Uh, you know, I think that's just kind of uh, the world of college football now, um, you know, with everything going on. You know, it's uh, twists and turns, but, you know, that would be wild. Kyle, last year you were always, you were always one snap away, so you've got to be ready. But this year you, you go into the game knowing that your role is a focal point. How do you prepare differently, if at all, to make sure that you know, you're, you're mentally in the right frame when you get out there for your first snap? Yeah, um, I think last year... Uh, obviously, you prepare like the starter. Uh, you prepare like you're going to play when the back of your mind, you know you're probably not. Um, but I think this year, knowing that, that you'll be out there, uh, knowing that you'll have an opportunity to, to make some plays, um, you know, I think it's, it's exciting. Uh, and I, I don't know if it's extra motivation, but that's kind of been the way I've, I've been preparing all year is knowing that I'm going to have an opportunity to play. And I think especially with this game, um, you know, I think that's that's the case as well, uh, and so it's exciting. Uh, it's an honor. So, uh, like you said, I think the preparation uh, during the week is going to be key.